Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan. Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990. Every, oh, 800-306-1990. My mind is going ahead of my, my vocals or something this morning. I, I don't know what this is all about. Uh, let's take a look. Every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 42% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. A lot of red on the screen from yesterday. These are lock rates from yesterday. 30-year conforming loan down 6.642. 30-year jumbo loan down 6.989. 30-year FHA loan down 6.404. 30-year USDA loan down 6.45. And the best loan on the market, that would be the 30-year VA loan, 6.279. And if you want our commentary every morning as early as the data allows, we put out a report, rsrmarketminute.com, rsrmarketminute.com. It is free to you, rsrmarketminute.com. You can get that report and see what is going on, what our, our, our thoughts are of the day of what's going on in the marketplace. Those are all yesterday's data. What's going on today? Well, let's take a look. The S&P 500, that is flat up 0 0.76 so we'll call that flat 10 year treasuries up 2 basis points 4.07 we got mortgage backed securities down 2 basis points that is the bond it's flat though down 2 basis points which means doing pretty much nothing so what's driving it consumer confidence reported that it rose from 108 to 114.8 in january which is the best level we have seen in 2 years Present situation surged from 147 to 161. A likely reason why confidence has moved up is the rise in stocks and inflation rates decline, de decelerating. This was a negative for the bond market. Jolt report, that's the job opening and labor transition report, showing job openings in December rose from 8.92 to 9.02, stronger than expectations. It's amazing to see this figure rise when we're seeing most high-profile companies announcing layoffs, including UPS today. As we have covered in the past, this is a flawed figure as there is tons of double counting because of work from anywhere and multiple postings of the same job in different states as well as different role titles, salaries for the same job. So why would we keep, why do they keep using this report? I don't know why because in this day and age, you know, you can have, well, think about just our situation. We're a little radio show with no budget. Josh is driving everything in Las Vegas. My loan assistant is in Mississippi, and I'm sitting here in Calizuela. So that's kind of where it goes. Treasury refunding announcement. Yesterday, yields moved lower after the Treasury announced its Q1 refunding needs. Treasury plans to borrow and issue $760 billion, which is $55 billion less than estimates of $815 billion last fall. They're borrowing $760 billion. Holy cow. Yeah, let's keep on spending more and more money. I'm guessing part of the reason for the lesser estimate is the Treasury general account is near its recent highs, and Yellen will tap this rather than via more borrowing. There's also political maneuvering on the part of Janet Yellen, surprise, surprise, in wanting not to spook the Treasury market. We'll hear in coming days the complexion of the issuance in terms of maturities, and again, Yellen will tilt to the short end. Case Shiller Home Price Index, which is the gold standard for appreciation, showed that home prices rose 0.2% in November. Home prices have been on the rise since January and now at 5.2% from last year. Case Shiller has continued to set new all-time highs in home prices as of July. This index is on pace for 6% appreciation this year, but remember, we only have the data through November so far. So the final December reading could influence the pace slightly. FHFA, House Price Index, released their index, which measures home price appreciation on single-family homes with conforming loan amounts. Different from Case Shiller, it does not include cash buyers or jumbo loans. FHFA reported the prices rose 0.3% in November and are up 6.6% year over year. FHFA has continued to set new record highs in home prices every month since February of this year. FHFA is showing that home prices are on pace to appreciate 7%. Apartment list rental report released its January rental report. 
showing the new rents fell 0.3% in November in, uh, during the month and are now down 1% year over year. This is the sixth monthly drop in a row and should translate to lower shelter costs in the inflation reports eventually when they catch up from their lag. Uh, unbelievable. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800 306 1990 800 306 1990